What? What is this place? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen this part of heaven at all before. There's no way that this is... You're absolutely right, dear brother. Welcome, special guests, to the estate of the archangels. And also the house of God. The true one. I is that... Yes, my dear granddaughter, that is Gabriel. One of my most loyal archangels and my first trusted messenger. Ah, guilty as charged. But yes, I am the great Gabriel. Hey! All right, all right. Sorry, father. You better be sorry, piece of shit. He really hates it when I do that. Trust me, though, he hates it a lot more with what Jesus does. So, wow, this is so amazing. So, you're one of my uncles, right? Yes, dear, I most certainly am. And I must say, it is so nice to see you. So grown, so much bigger. You know, I remember wa seeing that picture of that uh, Lucy had sent to Michael, and I gotta say, you were so cute when you were a baby. See any resemblance, though, Gabriel? <laughs> Lucy, I understand that your pride and your feelings come first when it comes to your overall vanity. But please, don't compare her to you. She has her mother's looks, clearly. And her mother looks absolutely divine. Ah, such hurtful compliments. I've missed you, Gabriel. And you as well, dear brother. Though, I must say, our other brother is also quite excited to see you, Vaggie. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of shocked you know who I am. Oh, please. The angel that fought loot, our greatest exorcist, and came out nearly unscathed? Your reputation precedes you, my dear. Right. Good to know, I guess. Vaggie, Charlie, I welcome you to the estate. Sadly, now I gotta stop being the fun grandpa and start being... Well, God. You two are most welcome to go ahead and visit Michael. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you again, Vaggie. Um, all right, come on, Vaggie, let's go, let's go meet Michael. I'd, I'd rather not, but okay. Well, well, well. Look who's finally back home. Can you seriously not make a big deal out of this? Ooh, sorry. So grown now. It's not like as if I only found out that you were possibly dead. Well, I'm alive. I fought your other favorite, and now here I am. And I'm so proud of you for doing that. You put her right in her place and everything. I'm so proud of you for that. I'm glad you're alive. Are you? Because if you were really, you probably would have sent somebody to come and get me. Um, hi. I'm, uh, I'm Charlie. Morning Star, right? Don't f talk to her that way. Thank you, it's fine. Yes, Morning Star, Lucifer's daughter. <sighs> then I suppose that makes me your Uncle Michael. The, uh, General of Heaven. And Vaggie's... Teacher and nothing more. I basically raised you. I am essentially your father, and you will trust me as such. I am the only one you decided to make act that way. I'm not your daughter. All of you technically are. All of you exorcists are technically my daughters, all right? I just don't treat the rest of them that way because they are beneath you. This is exactly why I didn't want to see you again at all. This is why I didn't want to come here. Because you're like this. For some reason, you want to f put me at the top of some f pedestal. You know what? Outside source. Daughter of my dear brother. Tell me. How well did she fight defending that hotel of yours? I mean, she... Okay, she, she was pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Charlie, why? Yes! Sorry, what did I just do? God, even though you're the only one, you are my favorite niece. Yes! Someone else that sees your potential. Why, why do you have to do this to me? Charlie, 
You know, I am so glad you said that. You know, I, you walking into this room, I didn't get a sense of any negativity or any sort of threat or anything. And now I know why. It's because you also understand Vaggie's potential. She is an absolute badass and can take on anyone and anything. I lost an eye, had my wings torn off by loot. You had your f wings taken off? They're back now. And not only that, but I barely beat her. And yet she came back with one arm missing, blood on her face, and a dead piece of sh boyfriend one night stand, whatever the f that stain was. Here you are, standing mostly unscathed by the looks of it. And an absolute badass. My girl. Michael, why? Wait, so. I just realized something. Vaggie, if he treats you like a daughter and in a way kind of is your dad, does that make me and you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, no, Charlie, no, it's not. We, we're, we're not related in that kind of sense. Right, but I mean, technically he created you and the other exorcists and kind of raised you, so... <laughs> Listen, for the most part, I trained them, Little Morningstar. I didn't exactly, you know, hold their hand the whole time. Yeah, I just happened to be his favorite. Well, I mean, I did put you onto a bit more of a uh, passion project, so to speak. Passion project? For, for what, exactly? Well, uh, I noticed that when I made loot, who, as I'm sure you know, is a lot more threatening and a lot more, uh, easy going towards when you can kill everything in sight, that the major problem with that was that a lot of the other angels didn't really see the exorcist as a, a good thing. They really looked at the other exorcists like, these soldiers of ours are rather threatening and make us uncomfortable. That's where you come in. So I was meant to be, what, like, an easy-going face? Pretty much. I mean, I put a lot more of you having a much more approachable appearance compared to Luke. You were more meant to, uh, make everyone comfortable. I was gonna make you in charge, and then after having you go on your first outing, sadly, with Adam and Loot, to hell to take care of sinners. I feel like I should be uncomfortable with that mentioning. Yeah, sorry about that. But uh, when I heard that uh, you pretty much had uh, lost your wings to loot and your eye, you were perceivably dead, things just uh, kind of went AWOL on that. So loot stopped wearing her mask because of my demands on that. You know what would have been useful for that? For any of that happening? Oh god, here it comes. If you had trained me to have also fought the other exorcists, if I had known their battle tactics, you know, I had to learn how to really fight for what was right, which was love by a demon overlord in hell. I, I didn't, look, I didn't think, that for one thing, I didn't think you'd find someone to love, let alone my own niece. It's not something I had planned for, nor was it anything that I had planned for for any of the exorcists to betray you, let alone loot of all people. Through the several times me and her trained together, she nearly killed me a lot of times. Alright, I never really won against her all that much. Yeah, but those aren't clear signs that she would ever kill you. She was just jealous of you, wanting me to be more proud of her. Was I? We're gonna say no. But hey, you know, here you are and there she is. She failed, you succeeded. Things are great now. You know, it's kind of strange that even though we're guests here, no one really gave us, like, a guide to this estate. Well, I didn't exactly want Michael following us around the whole time and just constantly talking and scolding me in my ear. Well, there's a door right here. Maybe we should check inside and, you know, see if maybe they would be willing to show us around. I mean, I am mostly everyone's niece here, so could go well. Just be careful, Charlie, all right? We don't know which one is gonna be behind that door, okay? And it... Oh, wow. Hmm? Oh, I was not expecting guests at the entry of my room. Welcome to the estate of the Archangels and my father, God. I have a 
feeling I know who you are. My niece, Charlie Morningstar, correct? Yeah, that's, that's, that's me. And this is... Vaggy, your girlfriend. How lovely to make both of your acquaintances. You're just... Why is it that you and your father just do not meet my expectations at all? While I cannot answer for my father, I myself had grown more accustomed to the uh, ways of life of the common era of humanity, such as gaming, for instance, a wonderful pastime for an immortal soul such as myself. I have to say, it is an honor to meet you. I never thought I would so soon, but it's still an honor either way. And an honor to meet you as well, my dear niece. I have heard that you have recently rehabilitated a sinner. I must say, you are doing pleasant work. Okay, wh wh what's your what's your whole deal? What simply, what do you mean, exactly? You just seem to be the calmest person here, and I don't know how to feel from it. Yes, well, unlike the Archangels, being my older brothers and sisters in a sort of spiritual sense i tend to keep the peace here one way or another but we were just kind of wondering if we could have a guide around the rest of the estate i would be delighted there is one archangel that i must say has been dying to meet you charlie i think you'll enjoy her company quite well i'm the niece of jesus Veggie. charlie just Calm down. So, um, God, I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to this. Uh, Uncle Jesus, uh, who exactly is the angel that wanted to see me, specifically? <laughs> Please, Charlie, I don't consider myself quite old enough to really be called uncle. And as for the angel we'll see, well, she's right behind this door. Oh, yeah, look at that. Jesus, little bro, how's it going? Keeping up with your gains? Indeed I am, Regal. Although, of course, it will not match your athleticism. Ah, oh, nah, don't worry. In due time, you'll be just as ripped as I am, alright? It, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of time, a little, little patience, a little effort. And this must be our dear niece. Mommy, sorry. Go ahead, I get it all the time. Mommy, sorry. I'm Charlie. <laughs> yeah, Lucifer's kid, I've heard. You know, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting all skin and bone, but then again, knowing your dad. I, I mean, I mean, I, I, I could lift a few weights, you know. Ah, oh, no, don't worry yourself too much about it. I mean, it's just, you know, advice coming from the second strongest angel around here. Physically, anyway. Wait, but isn't Michael the second strongest? Technically, him and Lucifer are at equal level. But in reality, I'm known to lift a few more pounds than Michael has, so... That's a very interesting take on that. And I'm assuming this must be your girlfriend, Michael's favorite little exorcist. And your name is? Mommy, sorry. I see why you two make such a good couple. Go ahead, get it all out. Mommy, sorry. Faggy, my name is Faggy. Right, that's the name. I almost got you confused for the other one. I did hear about your fight with her, by the way. I gotta hand it to you. It takes a lot of strength and courage to take someone as... psycho as that one out. I'm not gonna lie, that is a lot of praise coming from the second top warrior Archangel. <laughs> it's gonna be first, real soon. Tell your, uh, tell, tell your boss that next time you see him. Yeah, I, I don't want to crush his spirits in person like that. I think you should just go for it and let it happen. I like you. Um. <laughs> I sense some awkward tension now. We're going to move on, Rogel. We're touring everyone. Right, gotcha. You go ahead. Hey, just, uh, you know to be careful of, of her, right? Oh, don't worry, she's just the next one. We're gonna go ahead and rip that horrible bandage off immediately. Or hey, you know, take those nails out, right? You know, considering... <laughs> that joke will never be funny. 
from you. Wait, so Jesus, you and Raguel talked about how there was one particular angel that's gonna be kind of a bit more intense? Yes, well, you see, Charlie, while the most of us were quite excited to hear about your meeting with a lot of us archangels, as well as myself, as God's son, I'm afraid that there were two people in particular who weren't exactly excited to meet you. Although you did meet Michael already and he seems to have already changed his tone around you, I'm afraid this next one's not going to be quite so pleasant. Why do I have to... Oh, it's her, isn't it? Wait, Veggie, you already know who it is? <sighs> Michael and her tended to talk a lot when I was first created and everything, and... God, she's such a bitch. While there are other words I could have chosen, to, to be fair, most of them were a lot worse, but Baggy's not wrong. So, who exactly is it? I believe they are referring to me. Oh, you're Uriel, the other messenger archangel, right? Amongst other titles on my name. And you must be the daughter of Samael. You have your mother's looks, but it's not saying much. Ah, <laughs> well, it's, uh, very nice to meet you. Hmm, yes, indeed. But tell me, how long exactly is your visit going to be for? I, I'm not entirely sure, I just, you know, we're gonna be here for as long as God wants us to be here, Uriel. Hmm, Jesus, did you hear that? Uriel, I would appreciate it if you didn't. No, I'm very certain that that must have been the wind, because I know without a doubt that not one of Michael's filthy little exorcist experiments tried to speak in such a tone to her superior. Oh, you want to talk about superior? Maggie, let's not. No, no, please, Charlie. Don't interrupt her. Things are just getting started, right, Uriel? Father! <laughs> I didn't hear you come in! No, of course you didn't. Because I only allow you to know when I'm around. Don't I? Yes, well, Father, I, I was simply introducing myself to my darling niece. If I were you, I would continue walking in the opposite direction and allow your niece, my granddaughter, her girlfriend, and my son to continue walking the estate in peace. Please. As you say, Heavenly Father. Now, Jesus, I... Jesus, I think you need a little bit of a break. We have been over this. I don't get drunk! Yes, but your water intake is a little low. Change it back! Alright, alright. Thank you. Now, ignore her, Charlie. She's a little sour from years of uh, being outshined by Gabriel. And Jesus, I trust that you will continue to show them both around. Just taller if you need me. Now, Jesus, there is one particular archangel I have been wanting to meet. Oh, and who would that be, Faggy? I've always wanted to meet Azrael. I know he's like the angel of death or whatever, but uh, I kind of I kind of want to meet him. Ah, uh, Azrael. Uh, this is going to get interesting, if I'm being honest. What do you, uh, what do you mean by that? Jesus? Well, it's just that, uh, well, I, I better let him explain. Jesus? Sorry, El. I'm sorry, this is... I mean, you said sorry, El. This, this is not Azrael. Yeah, I can explain that. Uh, so sorry, El is what I go by uh, normally and up here. The, uh, the humans on Earth, they usually call me Azrael, so... I just go by whichever one. Right, but isn't it? But your name is still out there, Asariel, and it's like you're the angel of death, but you also protect spirits. And that Azrael is the angel of death and is willing to get the things that God needs to make more humans. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I'm the same guy. I do both of those things uh, pretty well, actually. So, do people ever just call you Asariel down in the human world? I mean, if they do. I imagine it's pretty rarely. 
Who would you say does the job better, you or the Grim Reaper? <laughs> that bag of bones ain't got shit on me. But this was certainly not what I was expecting. So are you drinking grandfather's wine? Yeah, I mean, I am one of his most beloved, to be honest with you. Uh, he respects me a lot and everything. He respects you that much, huh? I mean, yeah. Like I just said, I'm the only one that goes around and picks up the shit for God to make more humans. You want to sit there and you want to ask, like, how it is that all these babies are being born? It's me. I'm doing my job. I do my shit. I get it done, all right? And God lets me partake every once in a while. That's fine by me. Right, but you don't drink as much as he does, do you? You so much as even turn this thing into water mean you won't have problems. Big time. Right? Message received. I think our time here is done, girls, all right? Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, they gone? Yeah, man, they gone. Oh, thank God. Are we ever going to tell people that is that we literally somehow separated into two different beings at one point and became two different versions of the Angel of Death? I mean, would you want to, or... No, but let's be for real. Like, what's the difference between our job? We're both Angels of Death. What, what's the difference between what we do? To be honest, my name sounds a little cooler. You and I both know that's some bull. You ain't wrong. Um, Jesus, why are we at a hospital and not back at the estate? Oh, well, that's simply because the next archangel that you need to meet is... Well, he's busy 24-7, honestly. Oh. So, so wait, he doesn't have a room at the estate? Oh, no, he does. It's just... He's really round the clock right now. Earth is in a lot of sh** at the moment. Okay, let's see. I got those people. Jesus. Hi. I, uh, I, 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 I'm so sorry. The office is a mess. I was, uh, I was not expecting was HIV. I wasn't expecting you. I'm so sorry. It's all right, Raphael. Just take your time. Take my time. Take my time, he says. Take my time, he says. He says, take my time. Take my time to make sure that every single fucking disease that our father has created on his fucking little planet isn't destroying every human being possible. Um, hi. Are you a new patient? Oh, I'm so sorry. I will get to you in a moment. I have no idea what's spreading around up here in heaven. I, I, I just don't know. You're gonna have to go and meet with a nurse and then, um... Um, no, actually, I'm not a patient. I I'm your niece, uh, Charlie? Morningstar? Morning... Morningstar? You're Lucifer's daughter! Wow, this is... This is extremely unexpected. I am so sorry for the mess. Jesus! Why didn't you tell me our niece was coming? To be fair, none of us were prepared. I'm just showing them both around. Them both? Oh, and you... And you are. I'm, uh... Faggy. I'm Charlie's girlfriend. Faggy, Faggy. Oh! V4 GG13! God, I remember you! I, I'm, I'm sorry, you remember me? Well, of course! I, I provided, uh, Michael the, um... The essence of what you were created in. Oh, wait, but yo, you have grown! It has been such a long time, and as for you, Charlie, I am so sorry that I am such a mess. I'm just I'm all over the place trying to take care of every bit of uh, disease and sickness and healing all the humans as much as I possibly can with as little energy as I have. Wait, as little energy as you have? I thought you were the angel of healing. <laughs> you would think that, that that would grant me infinite ability to heal people, but then Father decided to create COVID several different and evolving STDs that won't stop getting worse. Should, should we leave or so many? Ah, uh, yes, I think it's high time we left Raphael to come back to us. We, 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 we may see him again later, hopefully. Okay, is there a particular reason why we are here in the middle of the Heaven Town Square? Well, Vaggy, this last uh, Archangel that we're going to be seeing is... Well, she's a people person. How much of a people person is she, Jesus? Well, Charlie, she is the Archangel of Hope. 
So she's about as much of a people person as uh... Oh my gosh, hi, my name is Remy, y'all. I'm the Archangel of Hope and Oh my gosh, you look so much like my older brother Lucifer. You look so so You must be my niece, Charlie. I heard so much about you. Jesus, look, it's our niece, Charlie. Oh my gosh, you must be showing her around town. This is such an amazing moment. Hi. About that much of a uh of a people person. Uh, hi, yeah, my name is Charlie and Lucifer's my dad and it's nice to meet you. You're so very... Oh, trust me, I know. I'm so energetic. I'm so much filled with hope. And I love giving out as much of my energy of hope to just about everybody. That's why I come out here into the square to give everybody as much equal energy of hope as I possibly can. And even though I know that you're my niece and you look so much like your father, I have to say, though, that I heard so much about you already from my dear best friend, Emily. Oh, you're friends with Emily? That's really amazing. Uh, is she around? At this moment, I have no idea, but she told me so much about you. And I just have to say, I am so glad that I finally get to meet you. This is so amazing. Is that your girlfriend? Uh, yeah. My name is Faggy. Oh my gosh, I heard so much about you from Michael. You are his absolute favorite. I swear to you, he talks about you so, 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 so much. And I have to say right now, seeing the two of you, you look so cute together. I have like an absolute, like, rainbow in my I don't know why I said that. I just felt like that was just the most hopeful and positive energy that I can absolutely give as a how I feel about your relationship. That was a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of time to just process everything that you just said. She just always like this? And to be fair, she uh kind of wasn't like this before. She was a little bit uh... Oh, I was absolutely quiet like a lot, even though I was the angel of hope. I just mostly smiled. I didn't have much of a voice. I didn't think I had one. Not until I heard, oh my gosh, just the most amazing mu music artist of all time. Who did you listen to? Charlie, please don't get her started. Oh, I listen to a lot of music made by the human artist, Kesha. Oh my gosh, she's so f***ing amazing. I just absolutely love every single last one of her songs. How long is she going to keep on with this? Her longest uh, conversation ever has lasted for 300 years. Who was that with? You're looking at him. Loot. Traitor. Hey, hey. Hey, nah, uh That is not what we discussed. Try again. Come. I will turn down giving you a new arm. Vaggy. Alright, good. Step one down. Now loot. Is there something you want to say to Vaggy? I'm... Sorry for fighting you, cutting your wings off, and taking away your eye. Doing good. Now, Vaggy, what do we say? Apology accepted. Good. Now, Vaggy, is there anything you want to say to Loot? I'm sorry. Oh, was there- was, was I supposed to give a reason? I thought I was just apologizing here. I'm not sure what I should be apologizing for. How about for making it to where I had to rip my own f***ing arm off? Oh, I did that? I caused that? No, I don't think I did. I think you did that under your own choices, honestly. Michael? To be fair, you did make that choice yourself, Loot. I, I'm, I'm just saying. Vaggy didn't cause you to cut off your arm. But Vaggy, you do have to apologize to Loot for something. No. No, I, I, I don't think I do. I don't think I have any reason to need to apologize to her at all. She mutilated me. I one-upped her. And all she did was lose her boyfriend to not me. So I didn't do sh this is exactly why I didn't want to freaking do this shit. I don't care. You two are going to get along one way or another. This has been too many years in the making. You two are going to get along whether we stay here for all of eternity or not. You know what? I do have something to apologize to you for, Luke. I'm sorry you had to deal with his bullshit the entire time. Yeah, I get it. You were upset because I was idolized by him. 
The guy that made you first and trained you to be an absolute killing machine. I mean, let's be fair, you f***ed me up good the second time we actually fought. I mean, I still have probably 10 concussions left to get over. My head is splitting every f***ing 5 seconds, okay? But I'm not the issue here. He is. Because he still idolizes me. When you put in a lot more effort than I ever have. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. My anger to you shouldn't even be directed to you. It should be directed to you, Michael. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on, girls. I think we may have backtracked here uh, just a little bit. I think what needs to happen is we need to take a step back and look at each other's problems instead of, uh, you know, just pointing fingers here. I'll take him low, you take him high. Sounds like a plan. They seem to be getting along a lot better. I know, I'm so proud of Veggie for honestly branching out like this. Hey there, click here for my recommendation for you to watch. Or click here for my personal favorite. This one is important, click this and don't forget to turn on the bell so you get notified on my newest upload. Done. Thanks. Here, have a hug. <laughs>